Well, our Verify team is working around the clock verifying the things you're seeing online. Right now, misinformation is spreading like wildfire. A Facebook post spreading around right now claims to have done the math to predict how many Americans will have died by the end of 2020 based on numbers from the CDC. It says less people will have died by the end of this year than in 2018. So their claim that COVID isn't all that serious. So is this the real deal? That's our question this morning. And can you predict that 2020 total deaths will be less than 2018. The Facebook post in question credits its data to the CDC. So our research brought this directly to the person who runs mortality statistics at the CDC, Dr. Robert Anderson. He says there are some serious issues with the math here. Let's take a look at this. So the 2018 death total is actually correct, but the number they cite for 2020 doesn't make any sense. For one, they're using the total deaths by week from the COVID-19 page, and the total number of deaths for that page starts in February. So that wouldn't give you an accurate death per week count. This is where the math equation falls apart. This person excluded January deaths, but included the number of days that were in January. An accurate deaths per day statistic would need to include the 240,000 some January deaths, and that would be closer to 8,500 deaths per week, not the over 7,000 they listed. The other issue Anderson tells us is that this is incomplete data. He says death counts always rise in the winter and even without COVID. So as we move into December and past November, those numbers will rise and this algorithm would not be an accurate way to assess the data. The finalized mortality statistics report for the year 2019 won't even be released until December 22nd. Dr. Anderson told us it takes a long time to finalize data in a normal year, let alone during a pandemic. So we can go ahead and verify. No, this Facebook post does not prove that there were more deaths in 2018 than there will be in 2020. And that conclusion is based on inaccurate data and uses rudimentary math to predict something that requires complex modeling done by health experts and statisticians. Maybe you've seen something like this on your Facebook feed. Maybe you've shared it. Maybe you've got someone in your family that shared it and you're wondering if it's true or not. Before you share anything, make sure you send it my way. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can send me an email, crogers2 at kcentv.com.